In spite of heightened security and concerns about potential violence, the controversial drama Joker made history this weekend. The Todd Phillips directed film set box office records and is getting significant awards buzz. To discuss the ramifications of the Joker's success and what it means to the film industry, we now bring back Liam Crowley along with our film reporter Andrew Goldberg. So thank you both for being here. Thank you. Very excited. So Liam, we'll start with you. What kind of box office reaction did the Joker get? Well, this, this movie, excuse me, was a hit. A box office haul of $96.2 million in its opening weekend. For notice, that is, a, uh, that is an October opening weekend record, beating last year's Venom by nearly $16 million. That's huge. It nearly doubled its budget in its opening weekend of $55 million, and it scored a record opening for the month of October, $39 million on Friday alone. People were going out in droves to see this movie. It's the biggest box office opening for Todd Phillips, the director, Joaquin Phoenix, and Robert De Niro. That guy's been in cinema for how long, and this is his biggest opening? Now, it goes to show how big this movie is. Joker also rolled out in 4,374 theaters, edging Venom's record of 4,350 theaters for the biggest uh, amount of screens in October. And despite the, despite the controversy surrounding its release, the box office clearly reflects that people are going out in droves to see this movie. Yeah, Liam, let's talk about that controversy surrounding the release. I'm going to talk to Andrew about this one. So, Andrew, there's a lot of controversy, right. especially security reasons. Were those concerns justified? Well, Max, you're right. There were a lot of concerns about security going into this. And I think if you look at both the content of the film and also the history of similar films like this one, those concerns were justified. And I think beefing up security was a really smart idea. I mean, I think we can all remember what happened back in 2012 with the shooting uh, in Aurora, Colorado, with the premiere of The Dark Knight Rises. Mm -hmm. And that scared a lot of people with good reason. I mean, that was a, a tragic event. And some people say it was due to some of the content that was seen in that movie. So leading up to the premiere of Joker, which was publicized as something that was really going to you know, cause a lot of controversy and discuss some difficult topics, uh, theaters took notice. And while thankfully there haven't been any reports of violence or shootings or anything like that so far, uh, there have been a couple incidents of note uh, in Chicago. Uh, two men were arrested for causing uh, a big disturbance in one of the showings. And also in New York, uh, security had to throw a man out of one of the showings because he was laughing and cheering during some of the murder scenes. Ooh. So definitely some cause for concern there, absolutely. And Andrew, you say that the, the, potential, the importance of security was important during this. So right. after seeing the film, what are some of the questionable themes that are controversial? So this movie really takes a big swing at a lot of different themes. Uh, they touch on disability, mental illness, classism, among a host of other topics. And I think how you perceive the movie uh, taking them on really depends on what you're looking for going into it and maybe what your agenda is. And I think it's safe to say that there are some definite hits and also some definite misses. Uh, but one point that a lot of fans and also mostly critics really were talking about going into this was does the content of this movie sort of glorify a character like the Joker and even to some extent mass shooters in general? And my take was, after seeing the movie, I don't think a rational person would look at the content of the film and say that what the Joker is doing and his acts are positive or something that should be replicated at all. But there are certain scenes, especially towards the end, where he does come off sort of as a hero or even a revolutionary leader. And I think someone can look at that and say, maybe we shouldn't be promoting that kind of content. I'm, I don't really agree with that message, but you can definitely be interpreted that way. So Liam, let's go back to the film. Do you anticipate this film anticipating you know, getting more grounded comic book characters in future movies? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we saw in 2017, uh, Logan was a very grounded take on the Wolverine character. Now with Joker, having a very realistic take, I mean, nothing in this movie seemed kind of out of whack to me. There were no crazy powers. It was a very realistic take. And there are so many characters in comic books right. that deserve this kind of take. Uh, one that's actually rumored that came out today from Collider uh, Rumor Mill, one of their shows, that they're thinking about doing a Lex Luthor movie starring Ryan Gosling. Now that's oh, something that's I'm awesome. very that excited about. Liam, fantastic. thanks so much, man. Okay, guys, thanks so much. Absolutely. So thank you, Liam and Andrew, for coming on. So thanks to all we have for you tonight on Peelers. I'm Max Chadwick. And I'm Carmela Boykin. Tune in to the next week for more of your favorite entertainment news. Have a good night.